All right, so let's say you're out in the field and you're doing some flights and you want to get some black box logging but your data flash is full or you want to pull something off so you can just get the most amount of logging uh, that you can. You don't want to be bringing a laptop, uh, but you're out here. There's, uh, what are you going to do? So a lot of quads nowadays only have 16 meg of flash and you know, you can fill that up in one flight fairly easily, maybe two flights uh, if you're logging at a lower rate. Well, today we're going to show you how you can pull off your black box data just with a smartphone. So it is pretty simple. All you really need is a quad and then your OTG on-the-go adapter uh, with a USB cable that you can plug into your quad. Uh, a little trick that I do too is have this little adapter here that uh, can switch it around from a micro USB to a USB-C uh, and just kind of hot glue that there and then you're good to go no matter what flight controller you have because uh, some of mine have USB-C and some have micro USB yet so uh, with that we're going to take your Android phone and then you do have to have the Betaflight uh, app on it I have a video on how you can download and install the Betaflight app uh, I'll link that in the video description so we're going to go ahead and launch that app actually you don't even have to have it launched you just have is your, you know you can see I have everything closed on my phone uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plug the OTG adapter into my phone that's key it does not go into the flight controller and then the other side we're gonna plug that into the flight controller here so plug that in here that will go ahead and launch beta flight right off the bat now that beta flight's up, just hit this close button here. And this is pretty simple. You're going to just connect to the flight controller, hit close here again, hit this button up top, go down to the black box, and down here you can hit active mass storage device. That is going to turn your flight controller into a USB drive that has black box on it. Just hit OK here. Another app you want to download, and I'll uh, put a link to this, is the ES File Explorer. I don't know why that stopped working, but I'll just go ahead and click the ES File Explorer, hit open just once. In my File Explorer here, you can now see I have this USB right here. I'm going to go ahead and click that, click Beta Flight, and there's my all right here. That's basically all the fault logs if I have multiple ones or if you just want one. So if you're doing multiple arming, you'll have, you know, uh, BTFL. Uh, dash or underscore 001, 002, 003, 004, and if you download this one that's BTFL underscore all, that's going to be all of them and then you can just select them. So from here I'm just going to hit copy. Uh, you're not going to be able to do a cut, just a copy. And then I can go into my phone, maybe go into your pictures area and just hit paste. And at that point you have your black box file. So if you wanted to now kind of clear your flash for another log, just unplug, replug your OTD adapter, wait for Betaflight app to open up, hit close here, hit connect, hit close again, go down to your black box, oh, clicked on OSD, look here, and then here I can hit erase flash, erase flash, and that will erase the flash on my uh, flight controller here and I'll be ready to start the next flight and I can obviously download that one too and just kind of keep on going if I want. All right so that is it hopefully that is pretty straightforward and pretty easy and a good way for you to be able to download your black box in the field anywhere you are and uh, then also reset it so that can be useful you know if you're not really into black box but uh, you know maybe you have something weird happening that day and a lot of times if people aren't using black box on the day to day it will just be full, right? Because every time you arm without even doing any special mode, black box on beta flight is going to record as soon as you arm. You don't have to set a mode for black box. It just records when you arm if you don't do anything, if you've never touched black box before. So if you are having something weird happen in the field, the best thing is to always record that if you're going to ask for help. So maybe bring your phone, always have an OTG adapter, clear it, record it and then obviously you can at that point download it from your computer at home or if you wanted to do a couple flights of that you can always just download the log stuff on your phone and so when you get back to the house or whatever and you're looking for assistance you can say hey i have a log of this weird thing that's happening can anybody help so again thanks everybody hope this helps and happy flying